guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we have an amazing new update for many Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on and discover these new exciting features. Now this update has to do with being able to modify and customize your keyboard. As you can see, I'm doing some amazing things with my keyboard. Now this feature of customizing the keyboard is not new, but the latest update brings additional features. So let's dive in and get started. So first and foremost, to download the update, what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're going to be at my website. So there's a module that Samsung makes. It's known as Keys Cafe. That's what you want to download. So download that or update that to the latest version. You want to click this link and that link will take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can update the whole thing. Now to use Keys Cafe, you need good luck. So if you don't have good luck, you can go to the same link and you can download good luck right here. When you click it, it'll take you to the store. You can install that. Once you open that, you're gonna be in the good luck screen and you can see we have Keys Cafe right here. So all you do is tap on it. It's gonna launch Keys Cafe and you have two powerful options. One. You make your own keyboard. One of the updates relates to making your own keyboard. The other update relates to styling your existing keyboard. So first let me show you what's going on right here. I'm gonna go back to the Galaxy Store real quick under Keys Cafe. And if you scroll down, you can see what's new right here. And look at this change log. Right here is everything that is new. So the new features is we have two brand new Christmas themes. Then we have a brand new color effect, keyboard color effect, and also key motion effect. So let me show you all those right away. So I'm going to go back over here to Keys Cafe. Go to style your own keyboard. The first two themes that were added, these are preset themes you can select right away. So all the way at the bottom, you're going to see two Christmas themes. So if you select these, this can be your keyboard. If you tap on apply, that becomes your existing keyboard. If you are in Keys Cafe and you want to preview the keyboard you're currently using, you tap on this button, it comes up right here. So that's number one. And let's look at number two real quick. Let's uh, go down. That is Christmas theme number two. Okay, that's applying the uh, theme or keyboard. And let's look at what that looks like. And that's number two, okay? Now I'm going to pick a regular simple keyboard. Let's pick this one to demonstrate all the other updates. So now we have this one set up right here. Okay, and here's what I'm going to do. At the bottom we have effects and sounds. If you go over to effects, we now have two brand new keyboard color effects. The first two, if I go back, you can see that's the paint gun and the firecracker effect. Let me show you what that means. So look at this. Behind the key, there is a paint gun effect. Okay, so when I click this, when I click this, it disappears. You can disable it. But if I enable this, right behind the keyboard, you are going to see that paint gun, paint gun effect. Now, additionally, if I tap this over here, that is the firecracker effect. So it's a little firecracker that is running on the background. As you can see, it's pretty light, but you can see little firecracker just blowing up behind the keyboard. So those are two new effects you can add to your keyboard. And if you bring up the keyboard, you can see them in real time, okay? Now, another update, if you scroll down, you have key color effect. This is the effect you're seeing on the actual key. So we have that brand new footprint effect, which is right here. Again, if I disable this, you're gonna see, it's not gonna show up right here under the preview screen. If I enable it, you're going to see the footprint effect. Now the footprint effect actually has additional sub effects. So over here, you see that footprint right here. Click on it. You can change the footprint that you see on the actual key. So I can select this one. Now look at this. So we now see a different uh, footprint on the actual key. Again, if you had the full keyboard, you would see it right here. Okay, let me use the pen so you can see it. Okay, amazing ways to customize the keyboard. And by the way, if I go out, go to the text message, it's going to be right here. Okay, so that thing is going to reflect right here. Fantastic. Uh, additionally, what we have is if you scroll down, we have also 
new key motion effects. If I go back here, you can see we have the key motion tilt and bounce effect. So that is the first two again. So we have the bounce, or I think this is the tilt, and this is the bounce effect right there. Okay, that makes sure the key just moves around, as you can see, in different motion effects. So those are some fantastic additions to further customize your own keyboard using Keys Cafe. Now let me disable this, and then you have the option to make your own keyboard. We have a brand new option. This one is a little bit minor, but if I enable this, I can go inside and I can start to create my own keyboard from scratch. So let's use this one right here as a template. I'm going to say edit, okay? And here's the new thing. You scroll all the way over, you tap on this button, and now you have the access to the delete key. So I can grab the delete key, let me just use my finger, and I can put it right here. Now I have a delete key, I can put it anywhere on the keyboard. The whole point is you can make your own keyboard and make it look exactly the way you want it. Now once you make your keyboard, you can tap OK and just give it a name. I'm just going to say X for now. I want you guys to see. So back at the text message, you can see I have the Del key now. Okay, so when I type something in, the X deletes this way, the Del deletes this way. Alrighty, and of course this is black because I just set up a new keyboard and I that's the color I chose. Now I don't use this too often. I usually just go style your own keyboard, disable that, and just pick one of the themes, add my effects, I'm good to go. So beyond all that stuff, if I go back here, you can see other than that, we have a bunch of bug fixes and that's it, okay? Again, this is made by Samsung. It applies to the Samsung keyboard only. So if you have a third party keyboard, these are not gonna work. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now guys, have a fantastic day, all right?